Hi everyone and welcome to our very first Tips and Tricks with NetBrain webinar. Today we'll be showing you NetBrain's Smart CLI and show you a little bit about how you can troubleshoot faster using this intelligent CLI. Tips and Tricks with NetBrain is a program we design and is aimed at helping new and advanced NetBrain users with the help of our NetBrain experts. For just about 20 minutes, you can join NetBrain to see demos and information on extended and unique topics, as well as common challenges. Today's agenda is short. First, I'm gonna show you what is NetBrain Smart CLI. Then I'm gonna share a little bit about how it can help you troubleshoot faster. Next, there'll be two demos. I'm gonna show you how an engineer would use Smart CLI daily in their troubleshooting tasks. And after that, I'm going to show you how, with our highlight and publish functionality, you can actually troubleshoot together as a team using the Smart CLI. Last, I'm going to give you a couple of resources for you to learn more about Smart CLI. We have a video. We also have Test Drive, which is a free NetBrain deployment where you can try out NetBrain for free. And we have guided tours in there to help you learn how to use NetBrain effectively. We have a specific one on Smart CLI, and I'll share that a little bit later. Lastly, we'll go over any questions that you may have. Before we jump in, just wanted to share a little bit about me. I'm a product evangelist here at NetBrain. I've been here for almost a year so far. And prior to that, I've been a senior network engineer for over 10 years. So I know all too well the pain of doing things manually as a network engineer. So I'm hoping that this webinar will show you how automation can improve your lives as network engineers. So what is NetBrain Smart CLI? This here is a screenshot of the Smart CLI. As you can see, it looks like any other CLI. You have the area where you type in your commands and you see the command output. It looks very familiar. You have where you can make connections and things of that nature. However, you can see a couple of things that are different from your typical CLI. We have the publish functionality, which is what I was mentioning that you can use to highlight interesting output and share it with your teammates during troubleshooting. Second, we have the compare functionality, which is very powerful. In this functionality, you can actually compare your live command output over here with some prior command output, even from five months ago and NetBrain will automatically compare it and then highlight the lines and the actual um, text that's different. And I'll demo this shortly. So just so you know, the NetBrain Smart CLI was built to simplify the lives of network engineers. And it really does through the power of automation and collaboration. As I mentioned before, the compare functionality is very powerful. As you can see in this screenshot, we have some baselines where we've run this command every night. And so you can use this baseline to compare with your live output. Here you see in red the lines that are different between the live output and the past output, and in blue, the actual values that are different. Um, other than compare, I'm going to show you how you can share findings with your team during troubleshooting, which is very helpful and how we can see historical command output from commands that you ran two weeks ago. I'll also show you how you can save your output with a descriptive tag, like for example, if you wanted to run a command before an upgrade, and so that next, uh, when you do the upgrade, that you can go and reference what the output was prior to that. All right, so let's jump right into our demo. If you've never used NetBrain before, you can see here at the top, there's a search bar. This is almost like a Google search. You can type anything in here, an IP address, the host name, a command, and NetBrain will search all the devices, all the config files, and show you the results. It's very powerful. So I'm gonna type the IP address of the command that we wanna log into. So I'm gonna type the IP address of the device that we would like to log into. Then I'm going to click map. Uh, 
I'm going to just save this as an incident for a later part of the demo. All right. So to use the Smart CLI to log into a device, it's very simple. You just right click on any device on your map and select NetBrain Smart CLI. This will launch the CLI in a separate window. So as you can see, we're already logged into the device. And here you can just type any command, for example, show version, just like you would on any other CLI. All right, so nothing different so far. Here's where it becomes different. You see this baseline here? Well, you can click this drop down and you will see that we have output for this particular command running every night. The word schedule means that it's run uh, during the nightly benchmark that NetBrain does. So if I want to compare this command output with any of these dates, for example, December 1st, I just click it. And in one click of the button compare, NetBrain will automatically compare the live command output on the left with any of the past day's output. In our case, December 1st. As you can see, NetBrain has highlighted a line in red, and that means that the live output is different from the past output. You can use these arrows to scroll through the different changes. So for example, we can see very clearly here that the uptime, the current uptime is four weeks, six hours. And on December 1st, the uptime is two weeks, five days. So as you can see, that's a very powerful functionality and all you have to do is click the word compare. Next, I'm gonna show you something else that's really amazing. Any command that you have run using the Smart CLI, it's, it's saved and as well as your output. So if you go right here and click View CLI Records, you can see a list of all the commands that you've executed as well as the date and time. Let me show you just one command here. For example, show IP interface three. All right. So when I go here and I go to View CLI Records, you can see the list of the commands that you've executed and of course, if you're using this for a long time, you'll have a lot more commands and you can actually just double click on it and see the command output. And this will be the command output at this particular point in time. So if you ran this three months ago, you can actually go here and see what it was three months ago. Very powerful. Without this functionality as engineers, what would we do? We would probably save it in a notepad somewhere and I forget where, where, where we saved it, right? So this is a really powerful functionality where you can see historical command output. Lastly, I'm going to show you that you can tag the output. So for example, if you were running this command before an upgrade, you can actually save before upgrade, like iOS 15.4. Um, you can actually save the the output as well as a tag so that later on you can refer to this particular output and remember why you actually took this output. So I click save, save, and now if you go to baseline, you'll see that there's this tagged output before upgrade, which you can use for your comparison as well. So let me just recap the three things that I showed you. I showed you how you can compare live output with past output. I showed you how you can go to view CLI records where you can see a list of all the commands that you ever executed as well as the output at that point in time that you took the output. And lastly, I showed you how you can save the output with a, a descriptive tag for future reference. So let's go back to our PowerPoint. All right, so I'm gonna do another short, very short little demo of how you can actually use the Smart CLI with the other functionality in that brain so that when you're troubleshooting, you can share interesting output directly in this chat pane so that you and your team can troubleshoot together. So let's go back to NetBrain.
all right okay so let's say we found this uptime interesting like let's say it was one day meaning that your router might have rebooted last night for some reason you can highlight the output that's interesting you click the word publish and then you put like a title for example router uptime is only one day you can click show and map and click post continue all right so now you can see a couple of things you see one you see a little sticky note which is very very nice visual to have on your diagram especially if you have a, a bunch of devices here you can see your little notes your troubleshooting notes um, annotated right next to that particular device um, and you can also see it here in this chat pane so this is our incident collaboration um, tool so when you're troubleshooting you you can post something here if your team is troubleshooting with the CLI or any of the automation tools we have available they can share any findings in here they, you can chat with each other and everything like that. And this is saved in this incident here. So you can come back five months from now and see all your notes, all the chat messages, and all the troubleshooting that was done, which is really powerful for lessons learned and just for documenting your troubleshooting process, which is typically lost once the problem is resolved. So this is really great for collaboration. All right, let's go back to our PowerPoint. All right. So we're done with our demos now. I'm just wanting to share a couple of resources with you. You can actually use your smartphones and scan these QR codes to go directly to the website, or you can actually just use these URLs directly. So we have a very helpful how-to video that was made by network engineers about Smart CLI. It's under our resources tab and it, it steps you through the process from start to finish. So you can always use this as a reference if you want to remember what I've just shared. We also have Test Drive, which is very powerful. It's our free NetBrain deployment where you can try NetBrain for yourself. We have guidance available. Let me show you here. So this is Test Drive, what I was doing the demo in, but down here, if you notice, there's a question mark. You can click it and you'll see our different guides. We have about almost 10, I think. Um, this particular one is on the Smart CLI. If you click it, you'll see a little video that we've made for you and the guide. We step you through every step along the way. We have images showing exactly what you would be doing in your step as well as text describing it. And you can step through this yourself and try NetBrain. It's very powerful. And this is available for free. The link is right here. NetBrain.com slash test dash drive. Um, alternatively, if you're not so comfortable doing a self-guided tour, you can have one of our NetBrain experts um, give you a demo. And you can sign up for that right at this link or you click, you scan the QR code. Lastly, do you guys have any questions? You can type them in the chat and I'll try to answer them. We really hope you learned something new and you can use the NetBrain Smart CLI to troubleshoot much faster when problems happen on the network. The question is, can you use the CLI without the full NetBrain deployment? No, you need NetBrain to be deployed in order to get all the automation and collaboration functionality. Because NetBrain does all the nightly benchmarking, like I showed you with the baselines, you need the, the full deployment in order to be able to have all the data for the comparisons, etc. Any more questions? All right, guys, if you have any more questions, you can type them in the chat and we'll follow up with you. 
I just want to say thank you for joining our webinar. It's our very first Tips and Tricks with NetBrain. I hope you learned something new. I hope you feel inspired and empowered to troubleshoot faster using automation. I hope that you would get this tool and that you'd be able to simplify your life and not use your brain so much as network engineers. So look out for our next webinar. Um, it'll be in the month of January and it should be about incident-based collaboration, which is that collaboration that I'm, I showed you in, uh, let me go back to that slide. This is the incident-based collaboration where you can share messages with your team and troubleshooting finding results. So, all right guys, that's it for today's tips and tricks webinar. And I hope you guys have a, a great rest of your day or night, depending on what time zone you're in. Thanks so much for joining. Bye.